When Farmer Tom discovered mysterious dark eggs scattered across his land, he was puzzled about which creature could have laid them, he decided to monitor them closely, and when they eventually hatched, he was so astounded that he burst into tears. Tom had always envisioned managing a thriving egg business, his farm, tucked away in a charming valley in Georgia, had been in his family for generations. Unfortunately, recent years had been tough, his once flourishing farm was now barely getting by. Rising food costs, increased competition, and a drop in demand for his usual brown and white eggs had all taken their toll, so, when he came upon a dozen unusual black eggs around his farm, his initial reaction was shock, freezing on the spot for a good ten minutes. He had never seen or heard of such eggs before, none of his chickens had ever produced anything similar, for a moment, he considered the possibility of them being snake eggs and scanned his surroundings cautiously. Looking for any sign of reptilian life amidst the tall grass, it appeared that whatever had laid these eggs had abandoned them, Tom was torn, on one hand, these strange eggs could hatch into frightening creatures that he might have to eject from his home, on the other hand, they could be the key to revitalizing his farm, perhaps people would pay a premium for such unique eggs, adding a novel twist to their omelets, or they might even pay more for the meat. Especially during festive seasons like Halloween, this could be his ticket to wealth if the eggs hatched into more black chickens, provided no one else claimed them first, although Tom was no thief. The eggs were found on his property, and his curiosity got the better of him, apologizing to the unknown creature that laid them, he carefully loaded the eggs onto his truck, he planned to place them in an incubator at the farm and wait eagerly for them to hatch, revealing the surprises they held. Over the following days, Tom vigilantly watched over the eggs, meticulously adjusting the incubator's temperature and humidity to ensure the ideal conditions for whatever lay inside. Every morning, Tom would inspect his unusual clutch of eggs, his spirits buoyed by the sight of their unbroken, glossy black surfaces, he dared to imagine the peculiar beings that might hatch from them, could they too be jet black, in quieter moments. Tom pictured the surge of excitement these unique eggs might spark, he imagined a crowd of eager buyers descending on his farm, each willing to pay a premium for the chance to see completely black chickens, yet, Despite his enthusiasm, Tom tempered his expectations, aware that much time remained before the eggs might hatch. As days stretched into weeks, Tom's anticipation grew while he awaited the emergence of the black chicks. The anticipated hatching date passed without any activity. Day after day, Tom scrutinized the incubator, hoping for any sign of life, a crack in an eggshell or the soft chirping of a chick. However, the eggs lay silent and motionless, as if taunting his hopes, with each uneventful day, anxiety gnawed at Tom, doubts began to cloud his mind, had he erred in bringing these eggs indoors, were they even chicken eggs, concerns about endangering the whole farm loomed large, doubt eroded his confidence. Turning his daily routine into an exhausting cycle of care and concern, he rose before dawn to check the incubator's temperature and humidity. Struggling to maintain optimism, he reassured himself that the eggs were a blessing, not a curse. After attending to the eggs, Tom would carry on with the rest of his farm duties. He fed and watered the chickens, cleaned the coops, and gathered the regular brown and white eggs. The farm was barely getting by, and the burden of its upkeep was daunting. Each task felt increasingly difficult, overshadowed by his worries about the mysterious black eggs. One cold morning, a wave of weakness overtook Tom, his head pounded, and his body ached with fever, despite his best efforts to persevere, it soon became evident that he was too ill to continue his daily chores, the relentless worry and sleepless nights had finally taken their toll, leaving him bedridden, Tom was unable to tend to his farm as days blurred into a haze while he lay feverish in bed. The farm, once a hub of activity, started to deteriorate, Weeds proliferated, chicken coops became filthy, and the feed bins neared emptiness. The regular production of eggs decreased significantly due to Tom's absence affecting the animals. The close knit community around Tom's farm began to notice the decline. Concerned murmurs spread among the neighbors about the farm's rapid descent into disrepair. Jake, a longtime friend and neighbor of Tom, 
decided to intervene. Realizing something was amiss as he neared the neglected farmhouse, after knocking, Jake found Tom in a weakened state, barely able to leave his bed. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, Jake reassured Tom that he would manage the farm while he recuperated and encouraged him to focus on regaining his strength. Jake immersed himself in the farm work, he cared for the chickens, cleaned the coops, and ensured all animals were fed. He also reached out to other neighbors, seeking their assistance to keep the farm operational. Amidst his efforts, however, Tom, in his weakened condition, neglected to mention the mysterious eggs in the incubator. One evening, as Jake was wrapping up the day's work, he heard a faint peeping from the chicken coop. His heart raced as he rushed inside with a flashlight. The peeping grew louder as he approached the incubator, where he noticed movement inside one of the unusual black eggs. Shocked, Jake wondered where Tom had acquired such peculiar eggs. He rushed back to the farmhouse to inform Tom that the mysterious eggs were hatching. Curious about what was inside, Tom, despite his frailty, could only shake his head, admitting his ignorance but his eyes sparkled with hope, possibly marking a new beginning. After recuperating, Tom shared with Jake the entire saga of the mysterious black eggs, detailing everything from their discovery to the countless sleepless nights spent fretting over the possibility that they could bring disaster to his farm. He expressed his relief at having his friends by his side now that the eggs were beginning to hatch, knowing they would assist him in dealing with any potential threats. Conversely, if the hatchlings turned out to be extraordinary, they would all revel in his happiness. Two days later, Tom felt strong enough to leave his bed. He and Jake crouched next to the incubator, their faces mere inches from the eggs as they began to crack. Relief washed over them as the first chick broke free confirming that the contents were indeed birds, not monsters. However, their relief quickly transformed into awe as they observed the chick's unique appearance. Its feathers were a deep, shimmering black, catching the dim light as it opened its eyes and chirped victoriously. Soon, the other eggs followed, each revealing a chick with sleek black feathers and bright, inquisitive eyes. The spectacle of their emergence was captivating. These chicks exhibited a determination that echoed Tom's own struggles. As the final chick emerged, Jake urgently pulled out his phone to search for information online. After a moment, he excitedly revealed that they were I am Semini chicks, a highly rare and valuable breed from Indonesia, known for their distinctive black coloration, which extends to their eyes, beaks, feathers, and even bones. He mentioned that their eggs could fetch a remarkable price and that people would likely pay just to see these chickens. Jake was puzzled about how such rare eggs ended up on Tom's farm but felt confident that they could solve all of Tom's financial woes. Overwhelmed with emotion, Tom was moved to tears. He had endured so much hardship, and now, holding the promise of a brighter future in his hands. He couldn't help but let the tears flow. The sight of the I am Semini chicks symbolized the dawn of a new beginning for him. The pure beauty and rarity of the occurrence brought Tom immense joy and relief. He couldn't help but cry openly, his tears dampening the straw-laden floor. The gravity of the situation dawned on him. His farm, teetering on the edge of collapse, had just been granted a lifeline. The hatching of the black eggs marked the beginning of a new era for his establishment. Word about the hatchlings spread rapidly within the local community, and neighbors who had supported Tom during his sickness came to witness the extraordinary chicks. They were awestruck by the striking, dark feathered I am Semini chicks, their appearance eliciting expressions of awe. Tom's resurgence of hope centered not only around financial stability but also the revival of a dream he feared he had lost, fueled by the passion he invested in his work. The I Am Semini Chicks represented a fresh opportunity to rebuild and enhance his farm. As Tom observed the chicks navigating their new environment and pecking at the straw, he experienced a sense of accomplishment that had eluded him for years. In the days that ensued, he devoted himself to the meticulous care of the chicks, realizing the importance of providing them the finest conditions. He built a specialized enclosure equipped with heat lamps and new bedding and diligently recorded their growth, noting their behaviors and development. 
The chicks' sleek black feathers sparkled in the sunlight, their curious and vivacious demeanors injecting new vitality into the farm. However, it wasn't long before Tom recognized extraordinary traits in these chicks. Their unique characteristics weren't limited to their striking looks. These chicks were remarkably resilient, thriving under tough conditions that might have hindered other breeds. They grew rapidly, showing strength and robustness that distinguished them. Their feathers were not only black but displayed an iridescent sheen, shimmering with hints of green and purple in the right light, as if imbued with a magical essence. Tom meticulously documented these remarkable traits, realizing that his I.M. Semini brood was extraordinary even among their rare species. Their exceptional quality and rarity potentially made them extremely valuable, as news of these remarkable chicks spread. It attracted attention far beyond the local community. One afternoon, a visit from Mr. Harris, a wealthy investor, signified the growing interest in Tom's unique brood, Mr. Harris who has a profound interest in rare and exotic animal breeds, had learned about Tom's I am Semini chicks and was keen to see them in person. Upon seeing them, Mr. Harris was immediately enchanted by their unique appearance and robust health. He turned to Tom, his eyes sparkling with interest, and exclaimed, These chicks are remarkable. I've never encountered anything quite like them. Tom felt a rush of pride and confirmed their uniqueness, sharing that he had invested a great deal in their upbringing. Mr. Harris, thoughtfully nodding, responded, Clearly, you've done an impressive job. I see these birds have great potential for breeding and appealing to niche markets that would pay a premium for their rarity and beauty. I'd like to make you an offer. As Mr. Harris laid out his proposal, Tom's heart pounded with excitement. Mr. Harris was prepared to invest in Tom's farm, providing the financial backing needed to enhance and expand the operations. In exchange, Mr. Harris would receive a portion of the future profits from the I am Semini sales and breeding programs. The offer was generous and promised to secure Tom's financial future, ensuring the farm's stability and growth. Tom listened intently and considered the proposal carefully. This was the opportunity he had been hoping for, a chance not only to safeguard his farm but also to see it flourish beyond his wildest dreams. With a firm handshake, Tom accepted the proposal, feeling a burden lift from his shoulders. The partnership with Mr. Harris meant that his I am Semini chicks would bring prosperity and recognition to his farm. However, the excitement did not end there. One sunny afternoon, as Tom was tending to the flock, he noticed something unusual about one of the chicks, it was slightly larger than the others, and its feathers displayed a more pronounced iridescent sheen. Intrigued, Tom decided to take a closer look, he carefully examined the chick and noticed its striking blue eyes. Unlike the dark eyes of the other I am Semini, Tom's heart raced as he realized he might have discovered something truly extraordinary. He quickly reached out to a geneticist who specialized in poultry to examine the chick. Upon arrival, the geneticist conducted a series of tests, and the results were astonishing. The chick possessed a rare genetic mutation that further enhanced its already remarkable characteristics, making it even more extraordinary. The chick was not only visually stunning but also possessed enhanced durability and a quicker growth rate, making it an exemplary specimen of the I am Semini breed. Its attributes were unmatched. Word of this remarkable chick spread rapidly capturing the attention of collectors, breeders, and enthusiasts who all eagerly wanted to see and possibly acquire the bird, the demand soared, with each offer surpassing the previous one. This breakthrough genetic mutation promised that Tom's farm would lead the niche market of rare poultry for many years, with the value and demand for his I am Semini chicks now established. Tom's future success and the sustainability of his farm were secured every day. He would stand in the coop, watching the splendid bird peck at the ground, feeling a profound sense of accomplishment wash over him. Against all odds, he had not only rescued his farm but had transformed it into a beacon of hope and prosperity. What an unexpected turn of events. Do you have a story about someone who took a wild risk hoping it would transform their life? Share it in the comments, we'd love to hear it. For now, though, we're signing off. See you in the next video.